damn it. Yeah, you went really laggy there. Damn. Fucking storm. But yeah, what do you think about the miracle pill? Uh, yummy. Did he save that for when it reconnects? It, oh yeah, it's reconnected now. Okay. Yummy. Shut up, I wouldn't Joel. call those exact duplicates and I don't like it. Yummy. <laughs> I don't know why, but my computer keeps do messing around, like even when it's not storming with, with Streamlabs, where it would like force it to disconnect and all that stuff. But I'm pretty sure it was a storm this time because it's been fucky around internet around here. Wait, that leads me to the question: Why would you fi fire fireworks in a storm? I mean, it's less likely to start a fire. <laughs> I don't know. That might be kind of cool. Just send fireworks. I have one up word to... that explains everything: military. Military. America. <laughs> but yeah. So what? You... Call call that fighting with Thor, okay? Yeah. Also, awesome. Bookworm, were you able to hear everything about the pill? Did it, like cut off at any point, or was I quick on it? I'm waiting for Bookworm's answer. I, uh... I would not call those perfect copies. Yeah, this this SCP is really fucked up. It actually preys on people with I, uh... problems. <laughs> I will um leave y'all to figure out where this thing goes. I need to go get coffee. All right. Thing to miss the last part when I had to refresh the stream. Okay, so it did contain all the most important stuff. Okay, that's good. That's the only thing I was worried about. All right. So where do we put this? Oh, it hatches away. Yeah. Also, maybe you should reread the last part for bookworm. I guess yeah. Bookworm, you'll be the replacement for hatchet. What? Anyway, uh, addendum. Extreme cases of SCP-2077 consumption can result in an individual's entire being being duplicated with their original body coming away, away lifeless, leaving the subject with their duplicated body. Subjects in the state suffer from severe depersonalization, often experiencing distinct changes in behavior and personality while retaining memories and life experiences. One subject claimed that use of SCP-2077 has killed them, and it in effect created a perfect living copy of themselves. In at least three documented cases, subjects have described feeling as if they were, are entirely different people able to recall personal effects while being able to discern themselves between themselves and their former selves. So yeah, that's the last one. Oh, I'm back to five viewers again. Thank goodness. I don't know why... <laughs> Don't die, Jerry. You must live on yeah. forever. What? You are not allowed to die. Till I die, which will never happen because I'm immortal. So you must live on forever. Technically, my character will live as long as the tree lives, which could be pretty indefinite. <laughs> I don't see the SCP Foundation taking an axe up to it. Clef. I mean, am I wrong, Jerry? Clef? I can't really deny that, but it's <laughs> easy to do, but he would do, he would kill like the most harmless ever. Yeah. Wait, I know how we can stop Clef from killing SCPs. Throw the procrastination rock at them. No. <laughs> <laughs> It'll work. As long as he's immune. We don't know if he's immune. Exactly. Knowing him, he's probably fucking immune and he. <laughs> <laughs> If 
But I do think he's immune, and then he destroys the procrastination rock and makes procrastination pebbles. <laughs> oh God, I feel like that would be worse. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't think Clef would destroy uh, a rock. Would kill my would destroy my character's tree since he is loyal to the foundation as psychopathic. He's he tried killing a child. Yeah, and killed one of the doctors. Well, mm. yeah. If it wasn't for crystalline butterflies, the doctor would be dead forever hmm. i'm Very still lucky. yeah i'm still wondering how you befriended the butterflies <laughs> but yeah so have we decided where we're putting the scp Also, Bookworm, if you're here, give your almighty judgment of where we put the SCP. Uh, we have ZK, XK, role changing, consonant, country, city, certain group, only one. Spoots here, what the fuck, reassign. I think it's certain group. Yeah, I can also see that too, but I also want to hear Bookworm's answer. We must know the answer of the mighty book. Certain groups, maybe Are because in the end you can. Typically get the, a good answer. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not that. Uh, I was just wanting for, it's hatchet to repl mm -hmm. uh, because Bookworm's the replacement for hatchet. Anyway, Bookworm says certain groups maybe because in the end you can still take the medicine away. Mm. That's true. Also, only certain individuals. More yeah. likely to take it, right? Yeah. Not everyone is vulnerable to it, as in not everyone would be would try to take it. From the looks of this picture, I think this, the next one's a political SCP. Oh. Oh yeah, it looks like one. Yeah, <laughs> we're about to get into politics. Politics, bitches. Oh. Bright. Bright. What? I don't trust your politics. Burn all the mental asylums down. <laughs> Is it because you got put in one? Maybe. Actually, mental asylums of the past were very destructive, so I see why. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I think I know what this SP is based off of. Did you know you used to be able to be committed because you weren't smiling enough to your husband? <laughs> yep. Alright, so this SCP is, is called SCP-2078, or also known as Third Party. Oh. I think I know what this one's based off of. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> SCP-2078 is a meme transmitted by media or word-of-mouth communication, referencing an individual named Redacted, hereafter designated SCP-2078-1. An independent candidate who runs in every presidential election in the United States of America, there is no evidence that SCP-2078-1 exists in reality. The only information that is known regarding SCP-2078-1 comes from material produced by and in interviews with SCP-2078 infectees. SCP-2078 only affects individuals who self-identify as citizens of the United States of America. Individuals must be exposed to infection vectors at a certain rate, ranging from 3 to 25 minutes per day, in order to become infected. Knowledge of SCP-2078's mimetic nature and other counter-mimetic practices are effective at combating infection. SCP-2078-1's political platform is unorthodox. Planks in include legislation mandating a birth requirement of four or more children for all married couples, 
legislation defunding essential government programs such as defense or welfare in order to increase governmental subs subsidies of food-related industries and a constitutional amendment for prohibiting vegetarianism. SCP-2078 infection dramatically alters an individual's behavior. All infectees, regardless of prior political affiliation, ascribed to SCP-2078-1's political platform. Most infectees act actively seek to spread SCP-2078 through the creation of political advertisements, usage of social media, or simple word of mouth <laughs> communication. Furthermore, most infectees exhibit dramatically increased appetite as well as decreased aversion to unhygienic practices. Experimentation has confirmed that SCP-2078 infectees lack a, a satiety sati response, enabling them to consume far and in access of normal human capacities. SCP-2078 Infectees have been observed to coordinate gatherings of up to approximately 200 infected individuals. These gatherings have been recorded to last for up, up to a week. Infectees employed in food service professions often use their positions to deliver large quantities of food to the gathering place in order to facilitate near constant food consumption. Due to inadequate waste disposal facilities and infective disregard for cleanliness, sanitation suffers dramatically. Infectation, infection and disease, sometimes resulting in death, are common. Infectees typically burn the bodies of the deceased. SCP-2078 infection vectors are distribu distributed throughout the internet and mass media of an unknown source. Furthermore, despite Foundation intervention, SCP-2078-1s Name has occasionally appeared on the ballots of some voting districts. And there you go, that's the SCP. Oh. I think this is based off the third party, uh, three party system uh, that we supposedly have. You know, it's technically two party. Mm -hmm. Well. I could see that. Oh, no, uh, it, 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 is, it is completely two-party. It's not just technically. It's like yeah, literally two-party. <laughs> Even yeah, though some... after all, if it was three-party, we'd allow three people at the final, not two. Even mm -hmm. though, like, I, I hear Paul to just say it sometimes, oh, third-party representatives can make it, and it's a three-party system. Yeah, no shit, it's not. <laughs> It's not. It's a two-party system. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but yeah, this SCP is really fucked. I don't... I don't understand why this this person and candidate just does not like veganism. Or not veganism. Vegetarianism. They just don't. Which is, yeah, which is why I think Hatchet wouldn't like this SCP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, where do you think we should put this guy? I don't know. Um, potentially world changing, I guess. I wouldn't think that. Or what the fuck? Well, it is dangerous because it has resulted in people dying and disease. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking more likely to certain groups because you have to be like the infection is only up to 200 at least. And not at least at yeah. most, it looks like. I don't know why I said at least. Which is not hugely bad. Compared to other SCPs we've talking about, they're taking way more lives. I don't know. What do you? What does Bookworm and, and Jiri think, and Dragon think? Um, 
I don't think it's world changing because it only seems to affect the United States. <clears throat> Maybe certain groups. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I don't even see it affecting the entire country. Yeah, because because like I said, like the foundation's actively looking at the ballots and stuff. Oh, sorry, sorry. You're fine. Wait, what would happen if they do get voted as president? Uh. Brooklyn also says certain groups, certain groups, groups. It's groups now. Okay. But yeah, I guess we just put in certain groups. Yeah, that makes sense. Because it doesn't seem to be going too high in the infected rate. I mean, mm -hmm. if it said like it did like a 10,000 or more, then it would be way higher in a certain group. But like the highest number it said was 200. Which is not that bad. So two people who, two hundred people could like affect, like actual change if they get like people outside of those two hundred to follow. Yeah, that's true. Also, Brooklyn says like the real third parties in the U.S. currently, definitely not country level. Lol. <laughs> that's pretty fair. I don't get voted in as much. You know, I kind of would be interested in seeing a third party president finally happening. But I highly doubt it's going to happen. And the, the problem is, if who would the third party president be? Right. Could be a bad president, could be an okay one. Yeah. Who is this little fluffy SCP and how do I boop their snoot? Oh, that's not the cat. Cat's not the SCP, the one above it. All right, so Hatchet, I'm going to tell you their political views of what, uh, what they would be if they were a president. Okay. SCB-2078-1's 2078 political platform is unorthodox. Planks include legislation mandating a birth requirement of four or more children for all married couples, legislation defunding oh. central governmental programs such as defense or welfare in order to increase governmental subsidies of food-related industries, and a constitutional amendment prohibiting vegetarianism. Okay. <laughs> so anyone allergic to meat would be uh illegal, I guess. Yeah, they, they would just be illegal. <laughs> also, I love and anyone who and mm -hmm. anyone who it can't like make children would be illegal too. Like me. I've already stated that I can't, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. A notable thing, I, uh, I fucking love that, uh, potential party symbol. Oh, you like the political party symbol thing? Yeah, yeah, you know, like, it really screams America. You want to know what the just, nickname for SCP <laughs> is? Just, like, some guy, uh, fucking bent oh, yeah, over, it, it, crying. Oh, no, no, it, the funny thing is, this is... Ha this does happen in America. Yeah. Also, Hatchet, would you like to so. see the nickname? Uh, would you like to hear the nickname for the SCP? Sure. Third party. <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> also, the last SCP picture that I sent, like the, the one after the cat, is the one we're about to get into. Uh, anti-Pac-Man ghost? 
Its nickname is the Law of Grucotus. SCP-2079. No, not Dad's house. I clicked the wrong what? SCP. There's an SCP right under it called SCP-2080 that's nicknamed Dad's house. I accidentally clicked that one. I want to go to Dad's house. <laughs> Shut up. It's boring here. Why can't I spend more time with Dad, Ma? <laughs> Fuck you. Anyway. All right. SCP-2079 refers to a phenomenon where an authority will begin to enact laws regarding a being referred to as the Grocotus. SCP-2079-A is a set of laws drawn on during incidences of SCP-2079. Though these laws are in 10th century dialect of Old English and do not conform to modern legal standards, Nothing unusual about this is observed by members of the affected organization. Persons involved in the passage of an SCP-2079-A instance show a thorough understanding of that instance, but they demonstrate no additional comprehension of, of similar Old English writings. Instances of SCP-2079-A are enact enacted at an increasing rate which varies greatly between manifestations. To date, 282 instances of SCP-2079-A have been observed, drawn mm. appar apparently at random, about a total pool that statistical uh, inference suggests contains between 350 and 375 laws. For sampling of these, uh, please see Addendum 2079-14. A few instances of scp 27 89-A are currently in effect. The SCP-2079 event may be ended by notifying the affected organization of the existence of aberrations in their legal code. <clears throat> when approximately 50 laws from SCP-2079-A have been ratified, SCP-2079-B will begin to manifest, typically remaining within 20 kilometers of, a, of the seat of the affected organization. 